Reuters. Over the past 2,000 years, China's Great Wall has taken a beating. Wind, rain, invaders, and more recently, tourists have all taken their toll. British campaigner William Lindsay has documented the wall's changes since the first pictures of it were taken over a hundred years ago. Armed with a 35 millimeter camera, tripod, and archive of old pictures, he has spent the last few years re-photographing sections of the wall. His then and now photographs are on display at a Beijing museum. He hopes his story will move minds and muscles. I think this is a good summary. It reminds people that even the Great Wall of China, one of the world's greatest buildings, will not just stay there. It has to be protected in a positive way. Beijing's 2008 Olympic Games are the newest threat on the horizon. The games will see the number of visitors to the wall hit an all-time high. But Lindsay says the Olympic bid also inspired the first legal protective measures for the wall. It's now impossible for a developer to lease land beside the wall and build an Olympic resort to give guests a room with a view. It's impossible now, and that's a good thing. Even today, not all Chinese understand the value of their nation's cultural treasure. China has been renovating the wall since the 1950s. Initial efforts were crude, essentially rebuilding long stretches with new materials. Today, renovators use a more authentic touch, but campaigners have their work cut out for them. After all, the Great Wall is 6,400 kilometers long. If you hike far enough along a tourist-friendly stretch of the Great Wall at Mu Tianyu, you'll arrive here, where the sanitized brick-and-mortar structure give way to this. This is what most of the Great Wall looks like today. The government's new drive to protect their national treasure is a good start. But it is only that, a start. In Beijing, I'm Eve Johnson, Reuters correspondent.